keep African Americans apart or segregated from white people. These laws were known as Jim Crow laws, named after a fictional character that was very offensive to African Americans. Jim Crow laws were made to keep black people and white people apart on trains, in restrooms, in schools, and restaurants too. In 1896, Homer Plessy challenged the Jim Crow laws by sitting in a railroad car reserved for white passengers. He was arrested and found guilty of breaking Louisiana's segregation laws. He appealed to the Supreme Court in a case called Plessy versus Ferguson. But in 1896, the Supreme Court ruled that segregation, or keeping blacks and whites apart, was legal. It was known as the separate but equal doctrine. Things were kept separate, but they definitely were not equal, especially schools. White children went to modern schools and had lots of books, supplies, and teachers. Many African-American children went to schools that were run down, one-room buildings with no electricity or running water. They had very few books, teachers, and supplies. Segregation in the northern states was different. There weren't laws stopping whites and African-Americans from eating in the same restaurants or using the same bathrooms or going to the same schools. However, separate neighborhoods kept school 